What do you feel there as far as at impact? What do you, what do you feel? So at impact, I would probably imagine my, my hands are right on top of my left foot. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I'm here with Milo Lines at Superstition Mountain. We got this camera and this camera going. Milo, we're talking, I think that one of the first times that you and I talked on Instagram is, uh, or maybe it was through, Milo has a Instagram page and a golf channel on YouTube called Golfletics. And uh, you were saying some, like you really like that lag tension stuff that was on the channel with Birdie. And then you were saying some, some cool ways about actually achieving that. Yeah. So, just to refresh everybody, we're not talking about sh shaft lean only, which would be like, okay, that's lean this way, that's lean that way. L lag tension, or really, just, I, just, I just call it leading, is a condition where a continuation of the left arm, the club is behind that continuation of the left arm. So this would be zero leading through impact, see that? And this would be quite a bit of leading through impact. And you would see, a, you know, a pro, excuse me. You would see different amounts of shaft lean throughout the bag, but a pretty similar amount of leading. So if this is driver, and then see as my ball position changes, yes. my leading is is staying about the same, but um, I see my but my shaft lean is changing a lot. Say right a driver. Uh, shaft lean wise, so with driver, we're gonna get into driver first, kind of go backwards. Usually with shaft lean videos, people are always like trying to get sick shaft lean with like eight iron or something like that. <laughs> we're gonna do a shaft lean video or a leg tension video with driver. Okay. What do you like your driver to be? Do you like it tip leaning forward a little I bit? I like it do slightly like leaning it? forward. Okay. So for me, my impact would look something like that. So there's probably just a, there's a small amount of forward lean. All right, well show us because we'll, we'll see how much uh, between your feel and reel there is and uh, that, way, that way we have a little freeze frame of what's going on for Milo here. Okay. Milo is a great driver. One of the best uh, drivers of the golf ball I've ever played with. I wasn't really watching Milo but from your feel, so what, what do you feel there as far as at impact, what do you, what do you feel? So at impact at? I would probably imagine my my hands are right on top of my left foot. Okay, so stay there at impact. And this is gonna be like a 90 degrees. So we can see that you're like half a degree lean forward, maybe like maybe like one degree lean yeah, forward. Just a little bit of forward lean. But the thing that I really notice if you go back to impact is um, your hands are above your left, past your left leg. Most people, go to where most people have it. Okay, so now your hands, this is a great thing for everybody to look at. Now your, your hips have locked up and your hands are about level with, or if not just behind your zipper. Why is it so good to control a golf ball to have the hands more forward and the, and the club head not out okay. this way? When the club is still trailing your, your lead arm, uh -huh. it's, it's stabilized. It's uh -huh. still stable and it's still accelerating. When it gets beyond your lead arm like this, it's, it's no longer accelerating and it's also starting to get unstable. It's now a free moving object. It's no longer being, being it's led through. It's no longer through. being towed. R oh, it's towed, like a, yeah. It's like a jackknife trailer. It's just, it's, it's doing what it does. But when it's being pulled along like a, the, the old ski boat ad adage, the mm -hmm. water skier behind a ski boat, yep. as long as it's being pulled, it's being accelerated. But once that, that boat stops, that water skier goes flying by and it also loses power and it sinks. Show us just for comparison what most people are doing. Most people are doing something Do like, it, like try to hit it out there. Like. Something along those lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hard to do. So I'm trying to accelerate the club head early as hard as I can. Something like that. Oh, okay, yep. How do you take a golfer that, that has that more locked up and then hands back impact and then get them to start getting it more forward and be towing the club head through impact. So first thing I do is I generally address the face because usually part of the problem is that the face is so open that they're having to try to, they're trying to square it up with their hands. Okay. So that's one of, that's one of the original causes of their, their issues, squaring the face. And because they're throwing the club really hard early to square it up, their body has to make some space. So it, 
jumps up out of the way. So they'll hit it once or twice that'll go drastically right and they're like, well, I don't want to do that again. So then they'll start developing this exactly. move. Yeah. yeah, so almost everybody comes to the game and hits the ball with their hands somewhat like this, mm -hmm. like we do in other baseball. Yeah. And rather than fixing that problem, they start trying to fix it like this, but when they could have just fixed it like with their wrist conditions, get those right. We can learn from watching me, hopefully. Because I'm like that. I'm like in between your bad one and your good one, maybe maybe a little bit closer towards the bad one. As far as my impact, your impact is, is about thus, and my impact is about thus. So if I want to get more towards you, what I'm hearing you say is be here, and then you have a better sequence. Better sequence, and we've got to get the face working. Yeah. So would I want to hit like a duck hook on purpose? Do you do, or what do you, what do you have people do? Generally what I have them do are some, some little drills where I, I'll force them to max out the extension of their right wrist and then just hit a little chip shot. All right, so show, show us you doing that drill because I'm sure you've... So if I swing it back to here, max out the extension and hit a little chip shot, you can see my hands get way up forward. So okay. then I'll have them do that. That's cool. Do that again. So how, how is the way that people would get this wrong when they go home to do it on their own, this drill? Well, they'll get to the ball like this. Oh, they'll max, they'll, they will max, they'll max it out. They'll max out the, the wrist hinge, and then but then instead of turning the club to the ball with that motion, they'll hit it with their hands. Oh, okay. All right. So show us the good way. So the good way would be here, there. Okay. I'm going to try that. All right. So are you doing it in two pieces as far as we get here, then there? No. Then there. No, that <laughs> would be three wrong. pieces. That was three pieces. Okay, so what do, I, what do I want to do? So I would just have them take it and hinge it like this. Uh-huh. And then... So the butt of the club is not really moving, not moving away from those. So I'd have, I'd have that hinge just like that. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I would just have you maybe swing your arms just a little bit back. Mm -hmm. And then just turn into it. I'll bet you anything you have a lot of lag tension or retained lag, whatever you want to call it. Left yeah. arm leading. Yeah, the club's getting towed. Yes. Like that, right? Yes. So it's it's basically just like a, that much as far as the butt going Yeah, back. the butt's not going very far for this little drill. But let's get the drill right, Milo. So it's here, mm -hmm. there. Like that, right? Yes. Okay, that was, that was good. Okay. A little low on the face, but that was the right idea. So hinge it a little bit, good. That was great, yeah. That was perfect. And if we see that in a slow-mo, what do you think we'll see at, at impact? You'll see the, the handle up, on, up in line with your left ankle, at least. Okay. So where does the disconnect be between a player that, say, does the drill pretty good, but then once they try to actually take it back further and hit it hard, it's, it's kind of going back to what it used to be. So, the disconnect is that player still has wired in their brain that they make speed with this throw motion out of the top. And if that's what's happening, you can see this trail arm is getting behind them. It's nothing's working correctly. Speed is not made with this. You don't want to try to put force into the club this way and get the, the club head moving. We want to get, we want to put force into the club with that motion. The player that struggles, they're, they're putting force into the golf club with this motion. Yeah, like an early coupling. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. So they're uh, trying to get it going. Okay. And that's in an effort be to square the face generally because they've got something wrong. Either their grip's off or their wrist conditions are off back here like this. So then they're trying to square it up. So if that player can get the face good, then their, their hands and arms don't have to do as much early and they can start to turn into it. So when I'm doing the drill, go ahead and, and, and show, show us one where you're really feeling that drill. You can hit, okay. it, hit it all the way. Oh yeah. The drill would feel. And the real swing would feel. Good. 
Not bad. That was pretty good. You okay. start to see how you get a little flatter flight. That ball didn't have any much spin on it. Yeah, I think that our, our spin loft, which we'll What's talk about in the video, would be coming down, huh? Mm-hmm. So the challenge is, as you're starting to hit it harder, Milo, to hit it harder by, by gripping things and moving things differently, not hit it harder with this, this coupling. Yes. All right, so you can kind of convince yourself that, hey, the face is good. You can, you, so when am I taking care of the face? In this drill, I'm kind of doing it here. So um, I, I'm taking care of the face the whole golf swing. So as uh, I take okay. the golf club, let me jump in here for yeah, a second. Yeah, please do. So as I take the golf club back, I make sure that the face doesn't ever get this way. So I'm never rolling it open. Uh -huh. If, as I take it back, my wrist is hinging more this way. Okay. So when, when that happens, that face is already pretty good and it just basically stays there. It doesn't have to do a whole lot. Maybe it, I add a little bit more extension and close it just a little bit more in transition. So I'm taking care of the face here and here. Yep. So it's always, it's, it's never getting super open. Yep. I'm gonna try to hit it a little harder. Not bad. That was reasonable good. Like Slow it down just a little bit and really exaggerate the feeling of not applying any force with your hands. You're just gonna feel like that, your wrist stays maxed out. Yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha. Because this drill is basically this angle here. Yes. Okay, so you're going to so keep gonna... the right wrist maxed out into the ball. So my right wrist is getting maxed out. It's staying maxed out. Good. Do it again. Okay. That was a pretty good catch there. Yeah, I didn't want to catch it early. <laughs> Jump the gun. I just let, let it happen. Okay. It's all right till the end, and then I put a little throw into it, as you can see. Oh, that was better. Yeah, that's nice. You yeah, can I just, tell by I, the trajectory, it's down yeah. and not spinning. I like that one. All right, so then moving to trying to hit it harder, doing that thing, I'm going to go. So I'm really going to feel this wrist can be left. It's not so much like I'm holding it. I'm no, not holding it. You're not I'm just leaving it alone. It's just relaxed. Yeah. So it stays like that. So it's here. Yeah. Yeah. Get a very, uh, get a fully loaded and relaxed right wrist. That one was good. That was good. Yeah. Okay. So Milo, the drill is we get fully loaded in the right wrist. We can relax that right wrist and uh, kind of just drive through the ball. As long as you, as long as the the pivot keeps driving, this won't unload. Oh, I got you. Oh, okay, so we can let the pivot um, keep that together. More like that? Yeah. Okay, good. All right, so then that's kind of like half drill, half swing, and now you go an actual like golf course swing-wise. There you go. More like that. Yeah, that looked pretty good. Okay. Okay, so for our final thing, Milo, you're gonna do the drill, and then I'm gonna step in and do the drill and then translate that. So let's do two things. Do a drill and then a regular shot, and then I'm gonna do a drill and a regular okay. shot. Okay. So a drill. Oh, nice. Really nice. And then a regular shot. Sounded good. So now I'm trying to do that with a drill, which is load the right wrist and it's all right. And then a regular shot. That was pretty good. Yeah. I bet you you'll see it there, and then a regular shot. It's like I'm doing the two things. I'm getting it here, and then I'm doing it again in the... Well, and you, uh, you get it here, and then you, you throw it a little bit. So there's got to be less throw. If, the, if there's a little less throw, it won't, it won't shut down. 
and then the regular shot. So, with all right, that was better. Good, a little cutter. You guys can see more with Milo at his YouTube channel, Golfletics. We're gonna do a shaft lean video next. Um, that's just more with, with the irons. So uh, you're gonna wanna see that by subscribing to Be Better Golf and uh, also go over to check out Milo's channel at Golfletics on Instagram or YouTube, both really good channels. Perfect, thanks. Thanks for watching, bye. Well, we just, we gotta get you to do this a lot.